So the biopsy results can tell us a few things. First of all, it'll tell us to the best of our knowledge whether cancer is present or not. So that's number one. Secondly, it'll tell us if there is cancer, how aggressive is it? So we do that by a grading system. Um, there is a grading system called the Gleason score and it's a sum of two numbers and those two numbers represent a score for the most predominant and the second most predominant forms of cancer within the tissue. And we do that because prostate cancer is a very um, variable cancer. In other words, within the same tumour you can have more aggressive appearing cancer and less aggressive appearing cancer. Prostate cancer is often commonly multifocal and what that means is that it's often in various different parts of the prostate quite separately. And so by adding the most predominant and the second most predominant patterns of cancer, we end up with a score. Now the scoring system unfortunately is pretty confusing. Um, it's essentially on a biopsy you can get a score really between 6 and 10 and to sort of simplify that a score of 6 is a low grade uh, cancer, uh, a score of 7 is intermediate and 8, 9 and 10 to some respects are lumped in together as what we would call high risk disease. Now the third thing we can obtain, or for the third piece of information um, from a biopsy that shows cancer, is we can sometimes get an idea of the volume of cancer, how much cancer is actually present. And that's another important aspect of the disease uh, and may have implications in terms of how we actually go about treating it. In terms of accuracy of the prostate biopsy, um, it's important to realise that a negative biopsy, in other words a biopsy that shows no cancer, does not definitely rule out prostate cancer. Prostate biopsy is just sampling after all, and so it's subject to sampling error. In other words, we can miss cancer, especially if it's small cancer. So we just need to bear that in mind.